Hey guys, Joshua Damo here with the Real Type RX78 Gundam MSI review. Cool thing about the uh, Real Type series is that there's three of them. There's the Real Type RX78, as you see before you. There is the Real Type Gun Cannon and the Real Type Gun Tank, which are similar color schemes and very cool. Something you may not know, also, um, if you want to see the reviews for those, just look to the right. Maybe they're automatically there, or you can search for them. Real Type Gun Tank MSI review gun tank or gun cannon real type you know etc but those two the gun cannon and the gun tank were unique to the United States US release but the RX-78 Gundam was not right here we have the Okawara version the Japanese one was called the Okawara version because Okawara um, Kunio Okawara something like that he was the mecha designer this is kinda what he came up with this is what it looked like and you know, we had the Okawara version, which came, I think, in a two-pack with the Okawara Zaku 2 and in Japan. But in the U.S., we had the real-type version. They're basically the same thing. The only difference is, is the panel lining and the, you know, little things on the knees, you know, the logos and things like that. And their articulation is exactly the same. Something to note is that there's also a Okawara version uh, extended MSA version, and there is an RX-78-1 uh, version 2, which is the most unique of all of them, as uh, these look like the RX-78-1, but uh, that one, the version 2 is really cool. I have a review for, for all the variations of this, except for this one, which is why we're doing it today. So this was the US release, basic RX-78-2 version 1 in a different color scheme. There's no unique weapons or anything like that, but I feel like the black is really cool. It's kind of a more realistic color scheme, things like that. Comes with two beam sabers that do not separate from their hilts. One bazooka, which comes with a, a darker color scheme, I do believe. Could be wrong on that. I think there's it's an off-white that makes these kind of unique. Spot to plug it in in the back, either way. You have our little thrusters that move and you gotta make sure you don't lose them. Not moving for me at the moment. Please go that far back, that far forwards, knee joint. Foot's on the ball joint, but doesn't move a whole lot. The waist can turn 360 degrees. Beam rifle can go in the right hand um, it could be held in the left hand, but it'd be a little harder. Shield fits in there well. Shield can separate, plugs into the back, which is nice. The arms have different, decent flexibility. There's an elbow joint. Hands turn 360 degrees, and the head turns 360 degrees. All in all, the real type RX-78 is a very nice figure. I particularly like the black. It's easier to get. I think, than the Okawara version. But I like that, you know, over the years there's been different renditions in the MSA line of it. I, I'm kind of, I, I prefer the version 2s, but the version 1s are still very cool. And this is a very nice figure. It finishes off your collection if you have the uh, real type gun cannon and real type gun, um, gun tank. Oddly enough, the real type gun tank and the real type gun cannon actually have more value than this guy. Um, not as a collector's. Maybe it's just because this is a version 1 Gundam and you know, it has its limitations. But, very cool figure. Very neat. Uh, if you don't have one, you should try and get one. And if you're looking for Gundam MSI action figures, make sure to check out our eBay store, Gundam Star Us, your favorite arms dealer, where we have all kinds of cool toys, not just Gundams, and we get new stuff all the time. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, favorite, and subscribe for more.